Hi, Casey with Countryside Flower Shop and Nursery. Today we're going to talk about things that you should plant in the fall. Okay, one of those is your garlic. Garlic should be put in at this time of the year. Um, we've got a couple different kinds. They like to go in when the ground is just starting to cool down. Now your bulbs that you enjoy in your spring, the tulips, the daffodils, um, crocus, allium, all of that, those like to go in when the ground's starting to get really chilled. So we're like the middle of October. The end of October, first week of November, is really the ideal time. Let the ground get a little bit cooler. Um, it'll still have time to get the roots in, but you don't want it to go in too early because you don't want that top to start growing. But, you know, there's a multiple, multitude of things that you plant in the fall. The alliums. Some of these are taller. I have some at my house that are like this. I've got some that are like that. Then your daffodils, those come in all kinds of different wonderful varieties and colors. Your hyacinths, your grape hyacinths, your small ones. Um, you know, these are the big ones. These are the little ones. These little guys are so much fun. I have a little baby blue vase like this. My husband brings me in a, in a vase. It lasts for like a week. Wonderful first thing in the spring. Crocus. Crocus plant somewhere where you can like look at them as you're like coming in and out of your house. Or like if you're looking out your living room window. Because they're short. They're going to be down like this. So it's something that you're going to have to look down on where some of this stuff's taller. These guys are short. Okay, so take that into allowance when you plant those. Your Mediterranean bells. These are going to be taller. And so are your uh, imperials. So those you can put where you can get things a little bit taller. But you can see there's a wonderful world of arrangements of those. Tulips, all kinds of wonderful colors. One of my favorites, the bright reds. I have a whole bunch of whites as well. Yellows are very, very bright, vibrant. And when you're getting ready to do this, you know, you have to go down a little bit with them. Most of your um, bulbs you plant two and a half times the depth of the bulb. So if your bulb is this, you've got to go down to like that. And one th thing that makes it really easy to do that are these augers that we have. You put these on your drill and go down, and you just go down far enough for your bulb. To make th these are great, especially when you're doing a whole lot of them. Um, but these, these are a wonderful, wonderful tool that we've got. We've got the shorter ones, these, and these also, um, we've also got the, the much longer ones as well. And when you're planting, you're getting out there, it's getting cool, colder. So remember to either take your kneeling pad or your little stool so don't get yourself all mucked up with your knees and stuff, okay? All right, so we're going to go out and actually plant a few back in the cut flower garden. So we're going to do phase two in about two minutes. Hi, Casey again. So we're out here on the cup, in the cut flower garden. And so we've decided to plant underneath the base of our autumn blaze maple. So now we'll have beautiful color in the spring because we picked some of those nice red ones. And then we'll have the nice reddish orange color in the fall. This is what's known as layering or under planting so that you got your layers of color. So you can see we dug ahead. Now this is going to be a little bit of history here. This one that I've got is my bulb digger from my grandfather. So you can tell it's really, really old. And then <laughs> this is one, you know, before I inherited this, we had this one because we're not out here where I've got access for a drill. Plus, we're doing just a few. So we dug our trench. We've got them lined out. And the important thing when you're putting your bulbs in is always make sure that your top is up. Um, you know, even if you get some of them a little bit sideways, Mother Nature will find a way to bring them up to where they need to go. But you just place them out nicely in your trench if you're doing a whole bunch. Um, or, you know, if you've got your drill, you can just do them individually. So we'll put this one in. <laughs> and then we'll just start covering back up. Now, see, I like the ones 
for grandpa because it's got more of a wide edge and it covers much better. But when you use both of them, you can really get a lot to cover. Now you notice the ground is really powdery right now. So if you're doing this this fall, the ground is exceedingly, exceedingly dry. We normally like to do this when it's more moist. So if we don't get rainfall within the next 10, 14 days, and you're gonna put in a bunch of bulbs, go out and water where you're gonna plant two or three days before you're gonna plant so that it's gonna be softer It'll be much easier to dig. We had a devil of a time getting this trench dug this, out this morning. So make it a little bit softer, a little bit easier to work with. Then after you get it in the ground, then make sure you, you water that and settle that soil back in around so that you've got no air pockets. Then there you go. You're done. You're going to have beautiful color in the spring. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Bye.